I just wanted to uh, additionally share um, an example of how St. Joseph has uh, been a real boost to my life and to my ministry. Uh, many months prior to uh, this month, we have been planning a parish mission and the Holy Spirit uh, led us to a, a great uh, facilitator for that mission this year. And um, I prayed hard about it to St. Joseph to intercede to the Lord that, that he would lead, he would ask Jesus to lead uh, a lot of people from our parish to this mission uh, so that they could really begin to see how much Jesus loves them and how much Jesus wants to be in relationship with them. Uh, and again, he didn't let me down. We had one of the best turnouts every evening for our parish mission. It was a very powerful event, and I think it really is something that uh, we'll be able to grow our, our parishioners in their relationship with Jesus uh, because St. Joseph really answered that prayer and had Jesus uh, bless that and empower, open the hearts of the people that were there. So to me, that was just a, I had great joy leaving each evening of that mission. It was a three day mission. Uh, and I know all that is a result of St. Joseph's intercession to Jesus for me. I'm Stan Isham, and I'm the Adult Faith Formation Director for St. Vincent de Paul Catholic Church in West Omaha. I am uh, married, and Carol and I have been married uh, for 52 years. We have three children and nine grandchildren. I recently uh, took over as the Adult Faith Formation Director and have uh, been very busy at the parish with, with the, a lot of uh, Adult Faith Formation activity. Last year in December, late in December, my pastor, Father Dan Camp Schneider, uh, visited my office to discuss other matters. But during that conversation, uh, he made me aware that Pope Francis had recently designated the year 19, 2021 uh, as a year of consecration to St. Joseph. And so uh, we talked about that for a few minutes. And after he left, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, just kind of prompted me that this may be something I should check out. There's a book called The Concentration of St. Joseph, The Wonders of Our Spiritual Father. So I ordered the book and again, uh, started reading it and decided that this was something good. So um, I ended up uh, doing the consecration uh, on a feast day of to St. Joseph um, and have continued to do the daily um, consecration to St. Joseph. I just wanted to take a moment to give you a short overview of the book that comes with this con consecration to St. Joseph. The book contains um, 33 sessions. Each session is about 15 or 20 minutes long, so it doesn't take a lot of time. It also contains a lot of prayers of St. Joseph, a lot of, uh, lit there's a litany to St. Joseph. Um, and it just uh, gives you an overview of the process uh, with the ultimate thing of consecrating your life to St. Joseph. Um, there's just a great opportunity to learn more about this great saint um, and the wonderful gift he was to Jesus and to the Blessed Mother in that he, uh, spent his whole life dedicating to them and taking care of them and forming Jesus in the faith, the Jewish faith, and teaching him a trade. Uh, but there's so many things that St. Joseph did to take care of, of the Blessed Mother and Jesus, and um, he is something that really is good to know his love uh, that is available to us and his ability to, to consecrate our lives to him and to uh, be empowered by that consecration. I just wanted to share the uh, tremendous impact that this consecration has had on my life. I have 
experience a tremendous amount of peace and confidence and joy uh, because of my decision to consecrate my life to St. Joseph. I really believe that he is my go-to person to intercede to the Lord for me. There's so many things in my life and in my ministry that I have gone to him for and with, and he has never let me down. Every moment of every day, I consecrate my life to Jesus, to Jesus and to St. Joseph every day and, and to the Blessed Mother. But St. Joseph has been particularly, uh, had a particular impact on me relative to my just being at peace, uh, knowing that uh, Jesus will uh, respond to any request that St. Joseph, Joseph had for me. Uh, so I think that the that this is available to all people. It does not limit it to me. This is something that that the uh, Holy Spirit has led us all to, and I think it would be an awesome opportunity to uh, to grow in your faith.